<laughs> okay, so I've just set the scope up ready for tonight's imaging, and tonight's target is the Iris Nebula. It's 1400 light years away from Earth, approximately. Um, it's in the constellation of Cepheus, and it's a reflection nebula. So I've got my Optolong Alpha filter in the drawer. Uh, the moon is set to come out at 9.30. It's, it was a full moon only a couple of days ago, so it's still gonna be quite bright, but I'm shooting away from it, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, it's a small target even for this scope, the Esprit 120, which is 840 mil, so I will have to crop in a little. Okay, so I've just finished my polar alignment. Uh, it's actually now eight o'clock and the rig was set up and ready to go by about five, but I couldn't get shooting because the clouds rolled in and I couldn't see Polaris. In fact, I'm looking at the sky now, can't see that many stars. I reckon it's gonna be another half an hour at least before it's actually cleared out, but I'm gonna be right ready to start shooting as soon as I can. So I've got my target up on the screen here and all I've got to do is hit the go to button and the scope will slow to the target. So I'm just going to hit that button and there it goes. It's now slowing round to the target. The target is NGC 7023, also known as the Iris Nebula. Okay, so I'm going to set this going. We're going to auto run, set this up. I'm gonna stick with five minute subs, so that's 300 seconds. Don't know how many I'm gonna get. We'll go with 30 to start with. Hit okay, and press start. And we'll see what the first five minute sub comes out like. That's the first five minute sub, looks okay. The stars are nice and sharp, nice and round, looks okay. I'm going to let this finish this sub here and I'm now going to change my plan from 5 minutes to 10 because it's still going to be another hour before the moon comes out um, so it's quite a still night, there's no wind so there's really no reason why I can't go up to 10 minutes yep, that's set 10 minutes, here we go. Just set it on 10 minute subs now. Okay, so looking at the guiding, it's over one arc second total error. So you think that's not brilliant, but when you look at the stars and 10 minute subs right into the corners they are still perfectly round. There's nothing wrong with those at all. So it's not the uh, end of the world if your guiding is above one arc second total error. It's dropped down again now, it's 0 0.73. It sort of fluctuates a little, but it's not the end of the world if the guiding isn't great. As long as you've got a nice sharp image, that's really all that matters. So the moon has risen now above the rooftops. It's not very bright at the moment. So it's not causing any problems at all to my imaging session. So I'm probably going to wrap this up in the next half an hour anyway. Unfortunately, I have to tear the rig down every time. Um, I have to work tomorrow, so I have to choose a reasonable time to pack everything away. 